hope you see this. Is that not the craziest thing you've ever seen? <laughs> Let's go! 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 Are you going to the creek? Huh? You going to the creek? I don't know what it is about those two. Or maybe it's just in particular to labs. But they go bananas when you start talking about water. Come on! Let's go! Go! Well, that'll take care of them for a couple of hours. So let's go on back up here to the top and see if we can get started on that handrail.
Well, I'm getting ready to start on this end section of the handrail, and I want you to just, if you go back and through the videos or think about the videos um, where I had cut through all the knots, I couldn't have placed these rails any better through these knots than if I'd have tried. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and start cutting these last two, and then we'll notch out the end of that over there, get the bottom top on, get the rails on, and we can pretty much stick a fork in this handrail and call it done. I do have to go back and oil it all, but uh, it's a whole lot easier to oil it all up there than it would be individually and then let it dry and then try to handle it, mark it, cut it and all that. So anyway, let's get started. What are you guys doing? Alright, watch out.
you know, it's good to know you're almost done with something that has been a lot of repetition. It's actually starting to spit snow after a little bit of wind a while ago. And I don't know what the weather forecast is. It's either rain or snow, I would assume. ends when they're crooked this is how it was laying naturally okay like that that's the way that I cut it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip that right around and I'm keeping the straightest portion of it straight with this board I've got a reference line right here so what I'm gonna do is measure my length which is right there. I'm gonna slide this right over my mark, keeping this still straight, somewhat. Tie it down and make sure that this is square, which it is. So, there we go. Still keeping this portion of it straight, not that portion.
Well guys, I certainly hope that you enjoyed uh, the build on this handrail. Anytime that you're doing anything like this that's um, basically, I guess you could say, non-traditional, um, which basically straight framing, um, it takes a lot more time to fit pieces together and make sure that they work together correctly um, in order to achieve or accomplish um, that goal. So um, I had to basically hand carve each one of these, um, debark them, and basically fit them in and then cut them so that they would all fit so that they looked um, somewhat uniform as far as spacing goes, but they couldn't be straight because, of course, you know, they're not. Um, but anyway, uh, it was a lot of fun doing this, but I'm kind of glad that um, peeling these are kind of, it's kind of over for the time being. I've still got the uh, chicken house up there that I need to put the handrail on, and then, of course, when I build the new buildings, um, the same thing is going to happen. But um, I don't know how many of these, let's see, one, two, three, four, uh, it's 32, uh, six is 38, and six more is 44. So I actually did 44 of these spindles for this handrail and, of course, the stair handrail. But um, I think it looks really good. The only thing left to do now is to oil it. Um, but it's a lot easier for me to oil it like this in place. Um, and I still have to burn the end, but I'm kind of letting that dry out a little bit like I did the handrail when I first did it um, so that it kind of looks... Uh, the same. But anyway, yeah, I think that this is uh, going to look really good once the oil gets on and it'll turn this color right here. So it will blend in a whole lot with the cabin. But you know, I've tried to maintain the theme of uh, like the outdoor toilet, uh, the outdoor kitchen, uh, which basically made it look a little bit more, um, I guess what you would say, hobbity. Um, but anyway, um, yep. Yeah. So we got the handrail up. And I guess the next thing I'm going to be moving on to the kitchen cabinets. I still have some trees that were blown down that I've got to do something with, but uh, the kitchen cabinets I think are going to be next. Anyway, my son, my daughter, and I, we really thank you guys for stopping by, um, hanging out with us up here at the cabin. We certainly do appreciate it. We can't thank you enough for all of your support. Everyone take care, and we look forward to seeing you back up here at the Outpost again next time.